Today in this video, I'm going to introduce top 5 or 6 AI tools that you must know no matter what. So no need of any long intro or fluff, let's jump straight in. Alright, so the first AI tool in our list is Notebook LM and this is our AI tool from the house of Google. And to access the same, all you gotta do is to click the second link in the description below and head over to this page right here. And as you can see, it is an ultimate tool for understanding the information that matters most to you built with Gemini 2.0. And now what exactly is Notebook LM you ask? Well, you can think of it like an ultimate AI tool for productivity, note taking and research. And let me show you it in action. So first thing first, go ahead and sign up for a new account and you can go ahead and click on this try Notebook LM button right here and it should take you to this page right here. And to quickly get started, all you gotta do is to click on this create new button. And this is where all the magic happens. So basically how Notebook LM works is that you can go ahead and drop various different data in various different formats like audio, video, images, PDF, text, markdown, or let's say link to a specific web page, whatever be that, you can go ahead and drop up to 50 different sources within this interface right here. And for a quick demo, I'll be adding a PDF file, a video, and also a, let's say a website link. So let's say I'm a person trying to learn React. So I have a lot of materials. So I can go ahead and drag and drop this PDF file in here. And as you can see, React.js tutorial PDF file is now being uploaded. And next up, I'll click on this add source button again. And this time around, let's say I want to add a video as source. So I can click on this link option and select YouTube. And I can go ahead and drop the YouTube URL in here. So this right here is a React.js crash course and this video is like 2 hours and 7 minutes long. So I'll go ahead and copy the link and paste it in here. And now I can click on the insert button. As you can see that is being processed. Next up let's just say I also want to add a website. So here we have this React official documentation page, the learn page. Here we have a lot of these code samples, diagrams and all that. So I'll go ahead and link, copy the link of that. Head back and add new source. Click on website click on paste, click on insert and that should be it. Now if you have any other sources for example let's say a audio, a podcast, a image, PDF file, document, markdown file, HTML file, whatever that you have, you can go ahead and drop it all in here and as you can see in the free plan you can actually upload up to 50 different sources okay. Just to keep things simple I have uploaded three different uh, sources and now this is where the real magic happens. So now you can go ahead and ask any questions related to react.js or whatever content inside of these sources the AI will go ahead and refer to all these documents or sources that we uploaded and will give you the exact answer that you're looking for for example let's just say what is react.js and I can hit enter now the AI within notebook alum will go ahead and search through the entire files and all the sources that you uploaded and give us answer and the cool thing is that it will also cite or let's say mention the specific area from it actually pulled their data from. As you can see, it says React.js is an open source JavaScript library primarily used for developing user interfaces in web applications. And if I click on this one right here, I can find the source from which the AI pulled the data from. And as you can see, the AI sourced that particular data from this PDF file right here. In a similar fashion, you can go ahead and ask pretty much any questions and get answer. For example, I could go ahead and ask what is use state and hit enter. Okay, so as you can see, it says use state is a fundamental hook in React that allows you to add state to your functional components. So you could literally go ahead and add pretty much any kind of documents in here and ask questions. And you know what the cool thing is? You could literally go ahead and turn this entire content or sources that you added to the AI into a full length podcast and that too with multiple voices. Let me show you how. So all you gotta do is to head over to this section right here that says audio overview and you can click on the generate button. And if you want to kind of uh, customize it, you have options for that as well. So you can click on this customize button right here and you can go ahead and include specific thing that you want the host to focus on. And as you can see, there will be like two hosts for now and I can click on the generate button. Now within a few minutes, the AI will go ahead and create a full length podcast that you can listen to, uh, including two hosts and you can listen to it and learn more about it. And just for demonstration purpose, I used these documentation for React, but it could be anything. Let's say you have an exam tomorrow and you have a lot of documents or let's say study materials to refer to and you don't have time for that. You can go ahead and drop all that in here and let the AI do the work for you. Okay. Or else let's say you are referring to a company's stock performance or earnings report. So you could go ahead and drop all that PDF file into here and let the AI analyze and give us all the insights that you're looking for or even turn that into a podcast.
All right. All right. And as you can see, the AI has went ahead and created a 29 minutes long podcast using all these sources that we uploaded. And you can just click on the play button to listen to it. All right. So get ready because today we are going deep into React.js. Yeah. You sent over a really cool tutorial. I have to say, Ezer. Okay. It allows you to break down complex user interfaces in face to life. Cool. Yeah. And those components we keep talking about. Right. Ability to manage state makes class components. So as you can see, the two hosts within the podcast is talking about various React concepts and all that. So the, just for demonstration purpose, I used some React documentation and video, but you could literally use it for whatever use case that you have. For example, analyzing a company's stock performance or maybe upload study materials and listen to the podcast or whatever be that business plan logics all that you can do all that with a notebook lm so that's for notebook lm by google and now before i continue further let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video wondershare filmora do you have a podcast if yes then you might already know how powerful your voice is but why just stop at audio when you could be reaching even more people with a video that's where wondershare filmora comes into play with its AI powered audio to video tool, you can instantly transform your podcast into stunning high quality videos without spending hours on editing. All you have to do is just open Wondershare Filmora, select the audio to video tool, drag and drop the audio file, select the language, type of content, the aspect ratio of the video, the duration, and once that's done, you can select the video style like photography, 3D cartoon, portrait, anime, etc., and even upload a character image as well. Once that's done, go ahead and select a material template and press the generate button. Now the AI will go ahead and take care of everything like generating the visuals, adding transitions, auto-generated captions, and syncing visual effects and more. And within seconds, the video will be ready and you can go ahead and save it to your computer directly or click the edit button to further edit it with a suite of tools available within Filmora. Filmora's AI will automatically find the best moments in your podcast and create a 30 to 180 seconds long highlight clips perfect for TikTok, YouTube shorts, and Instagram reels. And this is what I created using Wondershare Filmora today. And what about jobs? Could AGI replace human workers entirely? It's a valid concern. While some jobs might vanish, others could... But what should we be doing now to prepare for this future? Education is key. We need to prepare future generations to work alongside AI and innovate responsibly. Well said, Jamie. There's so much potential, but we... And now, click the first link in the description below to learn more about Filmora and download the same. And now, back to the video. So the second AI tool in our video is Napkin AI. And to access the same, all you gotta do is to click the third link in the description below and you can head over to this page right here. And now what exactly is Napkin AI you ask? Well, you can go ahead and paste a piece of textual content and convert it into infographics or visuals with the press of a button. And let me show you it in action. And once you're there on the home page, you can go ahead and click on this get napkin for free button, log into your account. And once you're signed in, you can go ahead and create new napkins. Once you log into your account, this is going to be the kind of interface that you'll see. And all you gotta do is to click on this new napkin button right here. And I'll click on, let's say blank napkin. Okay. And now you can go ahead and paste whatever textual content that you have. Now we'll go ahead and paste a random piece of textual content and it says marketing plan for your YouTube sponsorship marketplace. Okay. So this is basically like a plan that I've created and I went ahead and pasted it to napkin AI. And now I can go ahead and select a piece of, let's say a block of text, for example, this one right here. So I can copy the entire content like this. And now you will find a bold icon towards the left side. And if you click on that one, the AI will automatically analyze the content and create cool looking infographics or visuals. As you can see, here we have how to position the influencer marketing platform, three ways target audience, competitive analysis, unique selling proposition. Here we have yet another one, yet another one. And if you like that, you can go ahead and put it in here. And I'm pretty sure it will take you at least 15 minutes to create an infographic like this. And that is what Napkin has created for us in a single click. And now I can select this block right here and click on the bold icon again and turn it into a visual. Let's see. Oh, there you have it. Okay, let's say I like this one the most. Look at that. How cool is it, right? So the AI has actually went ahead and even created all these icons and included the same. Which advertising platform should be used to target creators and brands, Google ads, Instagram and meta ads, YouTube ads, all that. Okay. And if you like any picture, you can actually go ahead and download that particular picture as PNG, SVG or PDF. Or you can actually go ahead and download the entire document and you can take it up from there. Okay. So that's for napkin AI. The third AI tool in our list is Google stream real time. 
and to access the same all you gotta do is to click the fourth link in the description below and you land on this page right here and if this is your first time you'll be asked to log in with your google account just accept to the terms and continue and you land on this page right here and the first and foremost thing that you gotta do is to come over to this output format section and you have to make sure it is set as audio and if you want to you can also go ahead and optionally change the voice okay and now this is where the real magic happens but before that what exactly is google stream real time or talk with gemini live you can think of it like a real time ai agent or assistant right within your computer who can see pretty much every content within your screen have access to your mic speakers and even the camera and explain any kind of things to you for example let's say i'm using my mac computer and i don't know how to change a bunch of settings or let's say i'm using premiere pro uh, the editing software and i don't know how to edit my video now i could ask gemini live how to do all that kind of stuff and the ai will talk to me in real time sees everything on my screen and i can proceed further i mean let me show you it in action and in this context let's say i don't know how to let's say see the battery percentage or battery health of my computer or let's say change some important setting within my computer so i can go ahead and ask the same to the ai and watch how the ai guides me through the entire thing so i can go ahead and click on this share your screen option and watch this okay Hi there, I'm using a MacBook and I want to know how much battery percentage or let's say the battery health is left in my computer. Okay, you want to find the battery percentage, battery health and total capacity of your MacBook. Is that correct? Yeah, more specifically the battery health. Okay, you're most interested in the battery health of your MacBook. Do you want me to tell you how to find that information? Oh yes, please guide me through. Okay, to find your MacBook's battery health, click on the battery option on the left hand side menu. Then on the right side, click the eye icon next to the battery level percentage. A pop up window will appear showing your battery health. Does that make sense? Okay, so I got it. Yeah. Feel free. And now, as you saw, the AI within Google AI Studio or the Stream Real Time feature guided me through the entire step, step by step, and I was able to accomplish whatever tasks that I wanted to. So this is like a real friend sitting right next to me and guiding exactly what I should be doing. So click there, click that option, select that option. And you can also go ahead and ask the AI, what does this option do? And the AI will explain all that for you. And now in the free version, you can get up to, I guess, about 10 minutes stream time. But the thing is that you can actually go ahead and cancel and start a new one and you can actually go ahead and use it infinitely okay there's no any limit or anything as such so that's for the google ai studio stream real time feature the next one in our list is called this manage ai and to access the same all you gotta do is to click the fifth link in the description below and you'll head over to this page right here that says manage.im and now what exactly is manage you ask well manage is something very close to agi at least what from what i've seen it is something like that so the thing is that you can't really go ahead and start using Manus right away because you will need an invitation code and this is currently in a closed beta and getting an invitation code is super hard. But the cool thing though is that you can actually go ahead and explore what Manus is capable of by going over to the website and clicking on this use cases button. So you can think of it like an ultimate AI tool that combines the power of multiple different AI tools. So this AI can literally do pretty much anything. It can, it can actually go ahead and manage 50 different social media accounts simultaneously for you. It can do research on the web and create extensive reports or code something and do a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you come over to this use case gallery right here, you'll be able to see a bunch of stuff that the AI can do. And I'll go ahead and let's say select it to the WTF option and I'll go ahead and select podcast editing. Okay. And now this right here is exactly how the Manus AI will work if you get access to it and if you put a prompt something like this. Please cut the podcast audio into a two minute highlight uh, re highlight reel of key code, select complete sentence with clear viewpoints or interesting content, ensuring smooth transitions. So basically we went ahead and uploaded a 45.97 MB podcast um, audio. And if I click on this preview button, I can actually find the transcript okay in which ways we uploaded this audio and now we are asking the ai to create a two minute highlight reel of key codes and important content and as you can see the ai is installing the ffmpeg analyzing the audio file creating the transcript and now the ai is selecting the important sections within the transcript creating a new audio mixing everything together okay and once everything is done 
the ai has actually given us the highlight reel transcript and the actual audio itself and you can go ahead and download it look at that so we went ahead and gave the ai a full length podcast and we asked the ai to condense that information into a 2 minute highlight reel with all the key points and content and the ai did that for us with zero intervention or human input next up let us also explore yet another use case of let's say research on ar and ai glasses okay so comprehensive list of ar ai glasses launching in 2024 2025 research articles and all that and now as you can see the ai is creating a okay to do.md and is populating with all the stuff that the ai has to do and then it is actually researching and reading all these uh, urls or websites and finding relevant informations and it will now do the research put everything together and create a comprehensive research paper and show it to us so let's wait and as you can see the ai has referred to i guess multiple different sources and created a comprehensive table of ar and ai glasses launching in 2024 and 2025 and look at that and the thing is if you were to do the research and find all this information and create this table all by yourself it will at least take you 1 hour now that is exactly what manas was able to do in less than 2 or 3 minutes so we went ahead and gave a initial prompt and this is what we ended up with So that's how powerful Manus is, and that is the reason why I told you this is the closest to the AGI as of now, and the capabilities of Manus is totally mind blowing. And the thing is, Manus is now in a closed beta, and access is kind of limited. So in the future, they'll go ahead and open it to the public, and once you have the invitation code, you can go ahead and paste it in here and access the same. So that's for Manus AI. Next up, the fifth AI tool in our list is Hugging Face Spaces, and what exactly is it? You ask. Well, you can think of it like an ultimate AI app store. think of it like a play store or app store but exclusively for ai tools and to access the same all you got to do is to click the sixth link in the description below and you land on this page right here and as you can see as soon as you land on this page you can find a bunch of different ai tools that you could be accessing for free so here we have a bunch of image generation video generation text generation 3d modeling object detection image editing ai tools for example let me just go ahead and click on this option that says 3d modeling and here you can find a bunch of these ai tools related to or ai apps related to 3d modeling and i'll go ahead and click on this trellis option right here and now trellis is a ai tool that will help you to turn a image into a 3d asset so it says upload an image and click generate to create a 3d asset okay so you can go ahead and upload a image in here or select one of these random images from the example section for example this one right here so this right here is a simple png image of a lantern so you can go ahead and upload pretty much any image just make sure it is a png image with a transparent background now once you have that you can go ahead and click on this generate button right here all right so the processing is now complete and as you can see the ai has went ahead and turned that 2d image into a 3d asset that i could download right away so this is how it looks like okay super cool so here you can find it and if you want to you can go ahead and gen extract glb or gaussian and after that you can download it to your computer in a similar fashion you can go ahead and find a wide variety of different ai tools and even use it for free within this platform so that is for hugging face spaces all right so these are top 5 ai tools that you must know no matter what and the best part is that all of these ai tools that i shown you in this video is entirely 100% free to use so all you got to do is to click the link in the description below sign up for a new account and you can start using it without paying for anything so that's the beauty of these all ai tools that i mentioned in this video so hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next one